Whether you want to engrave names, dates, or meaningful phrases, adding text is a great way to give your projects a personal touch. With Lightburn's array of text creation and editing options, you can quickly integrate text into your designs and customize style, size, orientation, and more. In this video, we'll start with the basics before working our way through some of the more advanced options. To place text, activate the Create Text tool by clicking on the A icon in the left toolbar, or select Edit Text from the Tools drop-down menu. Then click anywhere in your workspace to place the text cursor and type in your text. Press Enter to start a new line and continue typing, or Escape to finish creating the text object. By default, the location you click will be the center of the text object you create, but we'll cover how to adjust that shortly. To make edits to previously placed text, select the text tool again and click on your text object, or double-click it without the text tool already enabled. Using the selection tool, you can also click on your text to make it active. Then right-click and select Edit Text Shape from the menu opening a dialog window which provides further control of your text. Here you can modify and add text, select font, adjust size, set horizontal and vertical spacing, choose alignment, and perform a number of other edits. All changes are updated to your text live so that you can see them before deciding to commit. If you find yourself using the text edit dialog often, you can enable a setting so that it automatically opens when you double click on text. As with any selected object in your workspace, when text is active, you'll have access to the transform control handles. Using these, you can click and drag to move, resize, rotate, and shear your selection. Text objects have an additional option that allows you to bend them. Hover your mouse over the blue dot until the cursor changes then click and drag to bend the text. Release the mouse to confirm the change. To undo the bend, double click on the blue dot. The text options toolbar is where you adjust attributes of your text objects, including font, size, spacing, and more. By default, it's located above your workspace to the right of the numeric edits toolbar. Use the drop-down menu to select which font to apply to your text. Lightburn uses whatever fonts are already installed on your operating system. To use a new font, you'll need to install it onto your computer, then restart Lightburn. Your most recently used fonts will always appear near the top of the list, underneath the Recent section. After selecting a font, right-click it in the menu for additional options. Select Add to Favorites to add the font to your favorite list which will always appear at the top of the menu. Height sets the overall height of your text. This varies based on your selected font and is not exact. You can think of it as font size rather than an exact dimensional measurement. H space adjusts the horizontal spacing between individual characters. Positive numbers move the characters farther apart and negative numbers bring them closer together. Vspace adjusts the vertical line spacing. Positive numbers increase the distance between lines and negative numbers reduce it. In the case of text, horizontal always refers to the direction of the text as it's read, regardless of whether the text object is rotated. Vertical refers to the opposite direction, regardless of rotation. Align X determines the horizontal anchor position of the text with the options for left, right, or middle. And align Y determines the vertical anchor position of the text, allowing for bottom, top, or middle alignment. Enabling bold displays the font in bold typeface, and enabling italic displays the font in italics, if it's available for the selected font. Uppercase forces all characters in the text block to be uppercase. Welded enables automatic welding of characters. When characters touch or overlap, something common with script fonts, enabling this option will automatically convert the overlapping characters into a single shape. Characters will also weld together if H space is reduced to the point where they overlap. Unwelded overlapping characters will negate one another, 
resulting in unengraved areas, so you almost always want the setting enabled. Distort affects the behavior of characters when using Bend. When enabled, individual characters will be warped as part of the curve, and when disabled, they'll remain unchanged. The text mode drop-down menu and offset field are two customization options used when working with variable text. This is an extremely powerful function of Lightburn, and while it's beyond the scope of this video, our dedicated video covering the topic is linked in the description. Leave this value set to normal if you're not using variable text. While there are a multitude of customization options available for text, you cannot edit their lines and nodes as with standard vector graphics. To do so, you must first convert them to paths. Select all of the text objects you wish to convert, then go to the Edit menu and select Convert to Path. Or right-click in your workspace and select Convert to Path from the menu. Doing this converts the text object into paths made up of lines, curves, and nodes that can be edited using the Edit Nodes tool. The letters of the converted text objects are separated into discrete shapes that can be moved and manipulated individually. The trade-off is that once converted to a path, you lose the ability to adjust attributes associated with text blocks. This includes the shape properties window, text options toolbar, and variable text. So be sure to make any needed edits prior to converting it. There are several global font settings available in the editor settings tab of the settings window. To access them, click on the gear icon in the top toolbar to open the window. Default font changes the automatically selected font for new projects, and default height changes the applied height. Enable right to left text support allows you to turn on right to left font rendering for any text. As we noted earlier, enable selection double click shows text edit dialog to open a text edit window when you double click a text block in your workspace. Set SHX font path sets the directory containing SHX font files. These fonts lack many of the limitations of standard system fonts and have the ability to define single line fonts. Clicking on this button opens your system's file explorer window, where you can navigate to the location of the SHX folder on your computer. Click the button next to set SHX font path to clear the path. Once Lightburn knows where to load the SHX fonts from, they'll automatically appear in the font drop-down menu in the text options toolbar. The distinct icon in front of them helps to quickly differentiate them from standard fonts. If you want to move designs containing text between computers and continue to edit the text objects, be sure to install all necessary fonts on the computer you'll be using. When saving a copy of a file containing text, Lightburn automatically includes a copy of the text as a path and embeds it into the file. If you open the file on another computer that has the same font, you'll be able to edit the text object as usual. However, if you open the design on a computer without the font, Lightburn will warn you about the missing fonts and load the path embedded in the file. This prevents the file from breaking when you move to another computer, but you won't be able to edit the text without the correct font. If the font is installed at a later time, Lightburn will recognize it and text will become fully editable again. Right click the imported text and select convert to text to change the font of the text to a font that is installed on your system and regain the ability to fully edit it. If you open files not made with Lightburn that contain text, make sure that any fonts used in the file are already installed on your computer or that the text has been converted to paths using whatever tools are available in the other program. Now you know how to create and edit text objects in Lightburn. Check out our documentation for more information on working with text, and subscribe for more great videos on mastering Lightburn.